Welcome to the tutorial on how to add a company to your existing e-filing profile and request the transfer of your corporate income tax from the holding party. The company must have a registered representative on SARS's record to complete this process. Visit the SARS website for instructions on how to register as a company representative. A registered representative is a person appointed with full rights that acts on behalf of another legal entity for example, companies, trusts, etc. These are often public offices, accounting offices or administrators. If a legal entity has more than one registered representative, they must nominate one as the official representative person with SARS. Remember, the specific registered representative must be registered with SARS. Log in to your e-filing profile using your username and password. Your e-filing dashboard will open and you can start the first step to add an organization profile for your company by clicking My Profile. Click Portfolio Management on the left-hand side menu. Click Add Portfolio to add a new portfolio for your company. Capture the portfolio name. Select Organization on the lookup option and click Add Portfolio. Your portfolio has been successfully added. Now that you have successfully added an organization portfolio, you will be able to add your company. Click on this icon to choose which portfolio you would like to set as a default portfolio. A default portfolio is one whose content is accessible upon login. Click Go to Portfolio on the organization portfolio you just created. Click Organizations on the top navigation tab. Click on Organization on the left navigation tab. Click Register New on the left navigation panel. If you are the registered representative of the company, click here to choose the company you are adding and follow the steps as required. If you are not a registered representative of the company, your company details will not appear here and you will get an error message. Therefore, you will have to complete the entity details, starting with selecting the entity type as company. Capture the registered name, registration number and the company's tax reference number then click Add Taxpayer. Click System Default to add the newly registered company in a user group or groups where you have user rights. If you do not select System Default, you will not access all the functionalities relating to this profile. Click Continue to proceed. You will then be presented with a summary of the information you captured on the previous screen. Click Manage Tax Types to proceed to request tax types to be transferred from the current holding party to your organization e-filing profile. For each tax type, you will then be presented with different statuses. Not active, active with another party, means that the specific tax type is not yet active under your e-filing profile. Under the Action tab, you may request the transfer from the current holding party by clicking on the tax types you would like to request the transfer of. Not active means that the tax type is not active on your e-filing profile, nor with another holding party. For the not active tax types, you will have to request activation to activate the tax type. Once the selection has been made, click Submit. If there is no registered representative for the company, you will be presented with this screen. The status of the tax types will be not active. Place your cursor on the information icon to see why the action is not available. Click Continue. The status will change to Awaiting Authorization. The tax type transfer request has been submitted. The registered representative of the company will receive an email that a tax type transfer request has been submitted. The registered representative of the company must then proceed to approve the transfer. Please note that a similar process below is applicable in the event where you, as an individual, or your registered representative are required to approve a tax type request made between two tax practitioners. It is important that when the transfer request is between tax practitioners, the representative of the individual will receive the email requesting the approval. If the individual does not have a registered representative, the individual will receive the email to approve the request. 
The registered representative of the company or the individual will then visit the SARS website on www.sars.gov.za and click Manage Tax Type Transfer. They will be required to capture the registered representative's or the owner's ID or passport number and the tax reference number requested and then click Submit. They will then be required to choose the preferred communication method to receive the OTP, then click on OK. They will proceed to capture the OTP and click Submit. The registered representative of the company or the individual will then be presented with details of the transfer request. They can then select Authorize and Submit to approve the tax type transfer request. The request has been successfully actioned. The registered representative of the company has actioned the request. You need to log in again into your e-filing profile to verify if it shows as authorized on your side. If there are historical records to be transferred and small enough, the transfer will occur immediately. Otherwise, the transfer will take 24 hours to become active or authorized. Click View Taxpayer under the Actions column on the corresponding company you want to verify the transfer of the tax type. Alternatively, you may choose the taxpayer type under the taxpayer drop-down option on the top navigation panel. Click Organizations on the top navigation. Click Organizations on the left-hand side navigation panel, then click Tax Types. Click View Request History. Click the calendar icon and select the applicable dates of the tax type request. Type in the requested tax reference number and click Search. The status should be authorized under the status column. Click View for additional details regarding the tax type transfer request. Should you wish to access the company's tax returns, click Returns from the top navigation menu. Click Returns issued on the left-hand side navigation menu. Click the Income Tax ITR 14 tab to access the return. For further assistance in completing and submitting your company tax return ITR 14, refer to the external guide on how to complete the company income tax return ITR 14 on e-filing, available on the SARS website or watch the YouTube video on the SARS TV channel. Congratulations, you have successfully transferred the tax type.